If your USB flash drive stops working, don't throw it away. Chances are it's just corrupted, and it's an easy fix if you know what to do. When a flash drive stops working, it's typically one of three things. It's defective, damaged, or corrupted. Now, testing if it's defective or damaged can be an advanced task, but if we can determine if it's corrupted by performing a fix for a corrupted USB drive, we've essentially narrowed it down by process of elimination. This video is sponsored by VIPCDKDeals.com, who I use for all of my licensing needs. Right now, you can get incredible deals on products such as Windows 10, Windows 11, Office, or even game titles. And if you use coupon code NK25 during this holiday season, you'll get an extra 35% off your purchase. That means you get a genuine license for Windows 10 Professional for just $13. Treat yourself this holiday season to the same prices that I get by following the link in description and use coupon code NK25 to get an incredible 35% off. Happy Holidays! Now, corrupted USB drives often can't be recognized by the graphic user interface or GUI of Windows, so the built-in partitioning program might not fix this. So we're going to do it through the command line, and you don't have to be worried, you don't have to be a command line commando to do this fix. Once you plug in your USB flash drive into your computer, we need to pull up the command prompt as administrator. There's a few ways we can do this. You can hit Windows key plus R to pull up the run menu, and then type CMD. And then to do a shortcut to run it as administrator, hold left control, left shift, and then hit enter. Alternatively, if that's a little complicated, you can click down here on the search, type CMD, and then run as administrator right here. Either way works, as long as you're running the command prompt as administrator. Our connected world is under attack by ravenous wolves we commonly call hackers, identity thieves, and scammers. Gone are the days where some common sense was sufficient enough to ensure a safe online experience. Now is the time to put a sheepdog in between you and the wolves by getting ESET, the premier security suite recommended by experts and used by yours truly for the better part of a decade. ESET combines the highest malware detection rates as well as a hardened firewall and state-of-the-art intrusion detection system to protect your Windows PC, Linux machines, Macs, and even phones from threats large and small, with the ability to detect and stop even a human hacker on your network. Use my exclusive partner link in description to get $20 off ESET internet security, smart security, and even business products. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the disk partitioning feature of the command line by typing disk part, all one word, and then hit enter. And now we're going to pull up all the disks that are on the computer. We're going to list disk, two words. Now I have a list of all of the drives on the computer. Disk zero is my C drive, and I also have two other different drives here. And we're looking for my eight gigabyte Kingston flash drive. Disk three looks like it's the one, since it's 7,377 7, megabytes. So we're going to select disk three. Now we're not gonna go forward until we're sure that this is the drive, because we don't wanna wipe the drive of our system drives. This is our hard drive that has Windows on it, or my game drives. We wanna just mess with the USB flash drive that I inserted. So I'm gonna check this drive that I just selected by typing detail, disk, two words. Up here at the top, it shows that it's a Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 USB device. I now know that I'm certain, for without a shadow of a doubt, that this is the drive that I want to fix. So now I'm going to type clean, and this is going to wipe the partitions of the drive so that we can start fresh. We're not going to wipe all the data on it securely. If you wanted to do that, you would want to type clean all, but that may take over an hour. We just want to fix the drive so we can use it again. We don't need to worry about data recovery, security, and whatnot. I'm going to type clean. Now we've wiped the partitions. Now we need to recreate them. I'm going to type create partition primary and then hit enter now that we've created our partitions we just need to format it we're going to type format space fs for file system equals and now we're going to choose the file system now this particular drive defaults to exfat but it can also use fat32 if you don't know what type of 
file system your drive uses, you can try to use FAT32 if it's under four, if four gigs or less, and that should be fine. If it's more than four gigs, you might wanna go with EXFAT or NTFS. You really wanna check with your manufacturer if you're not sure, but it's not gonna work. If, if it, It's not gonna be a problem if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then you just try another one. You could try EXFAT, doesn't accept that, then go with FAT32. So you might be typing FAT32, if it's for FAT32, which I'm gonna do, or you might be typing EX FAT or NTFS for Windows. In this case, I'm gonna type FAT32 for this particular eight gigabyte drive, and then I'm gonna hit space. Now, if I just hit enter, it's gonna do a low level format and wipe all the data. That's gonna take significantly longer, so we're gonna type quick to just do a quick format. All right, and now it's done. And my computer has just detected it and my virus scanner is now asking if I'd like to scan the new drive. So now I know it works and the USB drive is here. And that's that. That's how you restore a corrupted USB drive on Windows. Now if this doesn't work for you, I'm sorry, but it looks like you may need to replace the drive because it seems to be defective or damaged. The way these get damaged most commonly is by pressure at the port. These aren't designed to bend and if might not show visible damage, but that's very common. When these are defective, they just don't take the number of writes they're designed to, which is supposed to be in the thousands. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even support me on Patreon for exclusive access, and I'll see you next time.